But we did it, man. Sub 100, 139. Let's get it. All right, what well down, family? I need y'all to bear with me. I'm still tired. My stomach is still upset. I got an iron stomach when I'm running, but after that race is over, man, it ain't been nothing nice since I got back to the crib. I'm sorry, that's TMI, but the truth is the truth. I've been hurting, but uh, once again, bear with me. I do want to go over this with you guys. I'm gonna have to use my laptop because I'm actually using my phone this time to uh, record myself on this. So I'm gonna try to do this screen record and hopefully this works. Am I already recording the screen? All right, I think we recording now. So once again, fingers crossed that this works. But let's go over this, man. What the hill half marathon, 13.18 miles, 139.29, 21, excuse me, I can't read right now, at a 7.32 pace. This is the big one I want to look at right here for me. Uh, 409 for the elevation gain, right? Now, you have to understand for me, living in uh, the part of Northwest Indiana that I'm living in is very flat over here. Very flat. The most elevation gain that I've ever gotten any run, I think any run has been maybe 100. Maybe 100, right? Maybe. And now to go from... 100 to 409 in a race that's big because obviously i've never trained for this amount of the elevation in the race so to be able to get the performance that i was able to get out of myself while handling these type of hills is big for me right i know all my atlanta folks like hills hills whatever we got it we understand we know i'm in northwest indiana right now it's flat over here at least in my part of Northwest Indiana. Obviously, where the hell I was running ain't flat like that. But uh, let's look at something real quick because obviously 13.18 miles is a little less than 13.11, which is what a half marathon really is. So the half marathon PR time that they actually have, which is why I like Strava because they will differentiate. I don't know why Garmin don't. Uh, 138.46. So that's the time that I'm going with is 138.46 for my half marathon PR. All right, 138.46, not the 139.21 that we'll see up here because that's based on the 13.18 that I ran. Um, I really don't wanna keep hammering this in, but you know, the, the company that put on this race, they are pretty notorious for races being short or races being over distance. I talked about this when I was choosing which uh, race I was gonna run. And, you know, it came to fruition that this one was very short. Um, they had me finishing at 136, 40 something, I believe. And to put it all in perspective, when I crossed the timing mat, I kept running. The lady had my medal. I grabbed the medal without even stopping and I kept running. So thankfully, there's still a lot of pavement past the uh, timing mat that I could continue running because I knew I was way too short. And I wanted to make sure that I went over my 13.11 distance as well too. So I went 13.18. And of course, like I said, Garmin is just going to count a half marathon as 13.18 now instead of 13.11. So whatever, Strava has it. I'm cool with that. We gonna go with the 138.46 is now my half marathon PR. Now, going back to the the discrepancies with the timing and the distance. Support your local races. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to come at them like like I'm really bashing them. I actually just want to say support your local races because not everybody has $200 to spend on a half marathon. I know myself, I'm not in the market for spending that much money for a half marathon or a race that's not even a major race, right? They put on a great race, a country back road slash trail race half marathon from hell for me that I appreciate very much so. And support your local races. You know, to uh, Extra Mile Fitness Company, I appreciate y'all for this race. 
I don't want to go off bashing y'all about the timing discrepancy or anything like that. I'm appreciative of the race that you guys were able to put on. And I'm very happy for that. Let's get back to this. All right, so uh, half marathon PR 138. Let's look at these laps. All right, so starting off, I told you guys what I wanted to do was basically have my heart rate monitor which was a good idea and a bad idea at the same time. But uh, have my heart rate monitor on and also go by feel. Now, it was a good idea for one because I wasn't so obsessed with my uh, pacing and I didn't get panicked because I just couldn't see what I was running until I hit a mile, right? On the other end, it did kind of freak me out a little bit because I saw how high my heart rate was. <laughs> from the very beginning and I was like, uh, am I gonna be able to sustain this for 13 miles? Because I was up there, like my heart rate was up. As you can see on here, I was already 156, I was already 165. I want to say that's putting me in like zone five for myself by mile two. So I'm already pushing the pace. All right, if we looking at the paces now, um, I want it to be about 7.35 per mile for the first half. So first mile was 7.47, 7.29, 7.33. So we'll break it down in like three miles uh, sections. Actually, break it down to four miles sections. There's 7.26, all right? Um, I don't have no calculator. I can't do this math in my head like that. But I would say, based on this calculation, I was probably pretty close to being in that 7.35 range that I wanted to be for starting off this race. Now, my heart rate is pretty high, higher than what I wanted it to be, but at this time, I'm still feeling all right right now. Now, miles 5, 6, and 7, you can see an 8.15 in that boy right there. <laughs> And if you're looking at the elevation climb here, obviously that was one of the biggest hills that I had to climb was at that, during that five mile uh, mark. And then we dropped down to 7.44 and then 7.13, right? Um, a big climb that I had in mile five, the drop off was in mile eight, as you can see here with this 6.48 that I ended up running. So you can see right now that negative 103, it, I was I was gone and I'm not one that really tries to pull back when I'm going downhill I let myself go you know I, I just let myself go is that the right strategy you'll hear both sides say yay you should do it that way no nah, you shouldn't you should be easing up a little bit I just tend to let myself go let my legs just move passively they gonna have to move fast but let them move passively and I let gravity do its thing so Right there, you see I bust out of 6.48. It started to even out a little bit. Mile nine, we at 7.20. Mile 10, 723. So kind of going back a little bit. Race plan was first half about 7.35, right? Once we get past our big incline, then we want to start getting on to race pace. Obviously, uh, mile eight is going to be an anomaly because of that steep downhill that I had to hit. But now we can see uh, 720, 723 on mile nine, mile 10. Still a lot faster than race pace. But at this moment, I'm not really feeling uh, super fatigued. So I'm just going with it, right? Out of the 720, 723, cool. It's, it's a little faster than where I want to be, but let's go with it for right now. All right, mile 11 and mile 12. This is when shit got real because I entered into the... Uh, the trail portion of this and okay mile 11 you'll see another 723 but really 11 to 12 was when you see that 804 man it just told me up man it was just a whole bunch of quick turns quick elevations quick drops mud patches that i had to hop over big ass ponds well, not ponds obviously but big ass puddles that i had to hop over like it was it was rough I my legs are hurting right now because of that two mile stretch in that Coffee Creek Trail area, and the proof is in the pudding. Obviously, that 804 that was right there, and it got me. Um, mile 13, my last mile, basically right on race pace 729. Once again, I had to, <laughs> I had to get my medal and just keep it moving, and my legs were so fatigued. 
coming out of that trail, like so fatigued. But I knew that stretch of payment that I had towards the end, cause I'm already past the time and mad at this point. I knew I just had a clear way just to run as hard as I can run at this point and just clear that half marathon distance. That's all I needed to do was just keep running. Thankfully, nobody was in my way. Thankfully, even in the timing area, nobody got in my way. I just got my medal and kept it moving. And man, we did it, man. We definitely did it. That that was that was a tough one. That was a tough one. That was hands down the toughest race that I've run in my life. And I'm very proud of myself for doing so. Like that, that was I had to take a lot out of this. Take a lot out, out of myself. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I had to get a lot out of myself to complete this race, right? And especially given the start of this race, like, whew, boy, this is one for the books, for sure. But uh, definitely, I am super proud. Super proud that I'm able to cross that sub 100 mark off of my half marathon. And I'm in the 90-minute mark now. I'm in the 90s, we'll say. So happy about that. Happy about this performance. I'm going to take a few days off now and get my body back right, get my mind back right. And then it's 5K training time. And I had to go through this because I know that 5K training is going to be tough. And I know that 5K is going to be tough. For those of you that say a marathon is way tougher than, that, uh, than a 5K, you've never really run a 5K before. I don't want to hear you never really run a 5k before i'm just gonna put that out there but i did it man i did it and i'm proud i'm happy and i'm tired so we gonna cut this right here i appreciate y'all i might do a whole nother video after this because i don't know how this is gonna turn out i'm so tired i'm so frustrated i was frustrated earlier i'm sure this is probably gonna be a crazy video but I might just give it to you because this is just, this is the truth of racing sometimes. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, all of y'all that have been rocking with me through this whole training series. I asked the question at the very beginning, is seven weeks enough time to PR in a half marathon? And I answered that question with the resounding, hell yeah, it is. I appreciate y'all. On to the next one. It's your boy Run JLC. I'm signing out. Peace.